everyone. This is Whitby Public Library's Great Create for January. And today we are going to do our Great Create Hold Hands. So if you've picked up your parcel, it's going to look like this. And we're going to open it and make sure we have everything inside. We're going to have your outline for your mittens. Because actually what we're doing is we're making a stained glass mitten window display. <clears throat> and uh, you will need your kit and you will need uh, a pair of scissors. Okay, that's all you need for this one. So you have that and then you have your, <clears throat> and you will have your clear transparent sticky paper. Okay, kind of looks like that. There should be two of those. And also you will have your, oh, way down at the bottom, your tissue paper to make your stained glass. So you'll have several pieces. They'll be different colors. But what we're going to do is we're going to cut our pieces up into little squares. For you younger ones, if you don't want to cut them, you can actually uh, cut. Or Sorry, you can actually rip them. I'll do one here for you. So you can just like rip off pieces. I'm going to cut. So if you just cut like this, that should be enough. And then you can cut little squares. <clears throat> For you younger people, you might need um, a grown up to help you. There we go. So we're going to cut. They don't have to be perfect sizes. Stained glass never is the same. Okay, here and there. So we have all our pieces cut. Just put those over to the side. And then we have to take our uh, mittens and we're going to cut just along the outside. So the best thing to do is cut in half and then if you uh, are a little bit young, maybe your mom and dad or your grown up brother or sister can help you. So we're cutting around the edge of the outline of the mitten. So everyone do that now. Try to go as best as you can on the outline of the mitten. So you can hang your mittens in your window or take them in your window when we're done. You can also make an outline yourself afterwards and make more mittens for your windows. And all you need to do would be to trace your hand like this. Okay, so we got our mitten cut out and then you see there's another inside line here. So we have to cut that. So go down to the line and cut around the inside black line. And try not to go outside the black line. Stay inside. It doesn't matter because the black line is not going to show because we're going to turn it around when we do our actual artwork, okay? So this is a fun project to do when it's raining, or if it's raining or snowing. And this is actually what it's going to look like when we're done. This is the one I did ahead of time. So, and the outline of the mitten is not going to show. Because what we're going to do is we're going to take this mitten and place it on the contact paper. Okay, so we want to make sure we have room for both. So let's cut out the other mitten first before we cut our contact paper. We'll get rid of this. 
We don't. We do need the, the scrap paper because the contact paper is sticky and you're going to need this. I'll show you later when we come to that section. So we're going to cut around our second mitten. <coughs> This project was was found on Pinterest and there's other ideas there for winter activities to keep you guys busy over the winter break. All right, so we cut, remember, around. We'll get rid of that. Then the best idea I find is just fold and cut like that so that we can get down to the second line and cut out the inside of the mitten. And we all need our mittens in the cold, cold winter. <clears throat> There's a wonderful story called The Mitten by Jan Brett. If you guys get a chance to download that on Hoopla or put it on hold at the library, it's a wonderful story to read. And it's about a mitten that gets lost in the snow and the animals in the forest find it and use it for nice for warmth. They all hide inside. I'm not going to tell you anymore because it's a wonderful story. Okay, so we have our two mittens. So there, that works perfect. So put it on um, here and then cut up the middle. As best we can here. Okay, so we're going to put that mitten aside and we're going to do one at a time. All right, now the tricky part is you parents are going to maybe have to help because to get this apart is a trick. <laughs> so find an edge, which is also, oh, there, I found my edge. Okay. So we're going to take it and pull it apart, <clears throat> place it on the table. Sticky side up. And you know, just one, and it's sticky, so watch if fingers are going to stick to it. I'm going to get a piece of white paper, just a second. With this? You will have a piece of white paper inside of your, um, to make our snowflake. So let's put that on there. There we go. Okay, then take our mitten, and there's the ink side, so we turn it around so we have the plain side. So the ink side goes down on the mitten, there we go, and then take your fingers and tap, 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 so that it's all nice and stuck down. Good, okay. Now these are the, these are the um, pieces I cut out. You can rip them, make them a little bit smaller, and then we're just going to take them and watch that you don't get stuck, like I just did. <laughs> and stick your pieces on your mitten, no particular way, just but you do want to go as close as you can to the edge so that all the sticky part is covered up. Well, that one's stuck. So be careful when you're trying to put them on. There we go. And if there's too much, this one has a lot of white in it, so I'm just going to cut out some of the white so that I have more of my purple showing. So you can decorate this as much as you want. Okay. The fun part is trying to make a nice little pattern. There we go. Okay, now I do have some other um, tissue that I brought with me. You should have different colors in your kit. So you can use whatever colors you want, mix them up. Because um, stained glass is never the same. It's always different 
shades, different colors. I seem to have a lot of yellow here, so I'm going to put a little bit more red. You guys will probably have some green in there. I know you got red for sure. Okay, so I want to go as close as I can to the edge. Watch that your fingers don't stick. There we go. Let's use a few more colors. There we go. So you could fill your whole whole little window if you wanted to. Uh, you can make you could um, draw like I said some extra uh, mittens to put in your window. I missed this spot here. Okay, so we want to get all the edges. Whoops, I missed a little edge there. I'm going to go back to my purple because I love purple. It's one of my favorite colors. There we go. Put some more purple here. Cut off a little bit more of this white here. And one little more piece of purple. Let's try Cutting there, cutting there, put that one right there. Okay, so I've got, oh, I missed one little spot there. Let's put some one there. Okay, so my mitten is done. Now, if you can hang on to it so that you're not, your fingers aren't on the sticky part, we want to cut again on the outline and for you younger ones you might need an older person to help you but try to cut all the way around your mitten because we want to get all that sticky tacky stuff off You might have to cut into the mitten a tiny bit just to make sure you get all that sticky stuff off. And all of these supplies you can pick up at your dollar store. The sticky paper comes from the dollar store. Construction paper you can get almost anywhere. And tissue paper, of course, you can get at the dollar store also. There! So you will need this, depending on how it goes, you can wrap it up in your extra mitten there so when you toss it into the garbage, perfect. Okay, so there's our mitten and if you look at the back, you can kind of see right through it. Isn't that cool? Okay, so we're going to do the next one. Again, remember, it's hard to make, get this apart, so you might need some help. You might need to cut a corner. I don't have any fingernails, but if you have a nice long fingernails, you can get that. Okay, there, I got it. Work that off. It's best to put it on a piece of paper rather than on your tabletop. Now, if your contact paper is rolled up, you're going to have to take it and roll it like that. Mine happens to be flat, but some of you might have round paper. Just fold it out until you get it nice and flat before you actually take it apart, okay? All right, now, we'll take our mitten. Remember, there's the ink side, so we're gonna put it down. There we go. Tap, 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 all the way around. There you go, okay. 
and be careful because you're going to stick to it. I'm going to use some more of my tissue I had already brought with me. You can cut your pieces big, you can cut them small, you can rip them, you can roll them up like this and stick them on however you want to make your design. It's your mitten. Be creative. There we go. I'm going to put that over there. It looks like fun to kind of scrunch it up. I'm going to scrunch a few up like that and stick them on. If you rip them apart too, that'll be cool too. Okay. Oh, I like that. So scrunch them up, stick them on. It just adds interest to your artwork. Okay, let's try some purple. Let's scrunch some purple up. Doesn't work quite as well. I think the plain colors work better if you scrunch them. And if you scrunch them, you might even get a little bit closer to the edge here. That works good. Okay. Yes, I like that. Scrunch them up. Okay. Let's keep going with a few more different colors. Put some yellow down here. You'll have to cut little tiny pieces if you're going to be scrunching them though. Tiny pieces like I have. Or rip them apart tiny pieces too. It's a fun project to do. It might take a little while but it's going to turn out awesome. Whoops, let's scratch that. Whoops, I'm sticking again. There we go. Okay, put some flat ones here. I think I'll just save the purple ones and not scrunch them this time. You might actually have some pink dots, purple dots. There might even be some green dots in some of your kits. I tried to mix up the colors as best I could so everybody had something different. Well, this is your design so you can do it however you want. And maybe you might want to make one mitten like this one that we did. Or you might want to do one mitten like this one that we're doing right now with the scrunchies. And then you can draw out a couple more mittens. And make them different too. We're almost finished. Scrunch up your paper. This is so much fun. Whoops. Well, that one got stuck, but that's okay because we're going to cut it that part off anyhow. Now, when you get your contact paper and it, like I said, you have to unroll it. If it doesn't lie flat, what I found to do is just take one little corner and stick it down like that. And take the other little corner and stick it down like that on your paper. And that way it'll stay flat when you want to put your mitten on to do your artwork, okay? Just one little trick to make it a little easier for you guys. Okay, a couple more spots I have. That one, let's try this one. 
And I, oh, there's a little spot in here. Let's scrunch this up. Okay. Let's see if I can get this off. No, nope, it's not going to come off. That's okay. All right, so our mitten is done. And then again, we're going to cut around to make sure that there's no sticky paper, sticky contact paper left. So cut around the mitten. You cut a little bit on the red, that's fine. That will definitely help and you won't get any sticky left. And again, if you younger ones need help, get a grown-up to help you cut. Uh, where's that mitten? There's that wrecked mitten I have, so stick all that on there, get it out of the way. Finish this. paper, scrunch it all up, this will go in the garbage. And there's our second mitten. So we have two different mittens, but when you look on the inside, see, you can see the same glass. And if you hold, definitely hold it up to your window, you can see the colors really nicely. So those are our stained glass winter mittens. Okay, now you will have uh, a piece of uh, white paper in your kit also. So out of the white paper, just one second here, we're going to make some snowflakes. Now I made a couple ahead of time. Here we go. I made some ahead of time just to show you. There's one there. Now this is an awesome one too. And we have this one. And you can hang these in your window too. And if you have little stickers, if you want to decorate your snowflakes with stickers, that's a great idea too. Then this one, it's a little more detailed. And there's our snowflake. So I'm going to show you how to do that. So we take our paper, and this is the corner that we want to fold on. So we're going to fold it. Get it like that. We're going to make a triangle. Now you, old, you younger people might need help. There we go. So fold the paper like that. So you see our triangle and we have an extra piece here. So this is the piece that we're going to cut off. And then we have our triangle. Okay. Then we place our triangle down on the table. And we're going to fold one side up. We got to try to get them as even as possible. So you might need help, you younger children. Try to get it as even as possible. There we go. So fold along here, here. Everyone see that? So we fold it, folded it. Okay. Then. In the middle, we're going to fold again, and we're going to make another triangle. Okay. Now this is the side we're going to cut on. It's right here. So take our scissors, and we're going to just cut a design. You can cut uh, circles, squares, triangles. Triangles are probably the best idea. There we go. Now I'm going to make a nice long triangle here. Nice big one. There we go. I might need help pulling it off. There we go. Let's try one more up here. We'll just do a little one. Pull it out. And one more 
we're going to cut up almost to the top and over. And then we're going to unfold this carefully. And here we have our snowflake. Isn't that awesome? Look at that. You guys made a snowflake. So if you have more white paper at home, it's just photocopy photocopying paper. You can make more snowflakes like I did. This is my most intricate one that I did. So the more you cut on the edges, the more fan the fancier your snowflake will be. All right, and you can make lots of these if you have paper at home. You could use construction paper if you wanted to and hang them up in your window with your mittens for a project. Well, thanks for joining us for our Great Create. Uh, please join us also at the whitbypubliclibrary.ca on either Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram. Uh, you can download books on Hoopla, uh, and make sure you join us next time for our February Great Create. Bye.